the 2025 NASCAR Hall of Fame class was unveiled with two members from the modern era ballot and one from the pioneer ballot. Starting with the pioneer ballot, five-time Cup Series race winner Ralph Moody got in with 60% of the vote. Although Moody had a solid career as a driver, much of its impact was felt on the car ownership side. In 1957, Moody became business partners with John Holman to form the Holman Moody team, who won two championships with David Pearson behind the wheel, plus Daytona 500 wins with Fred Lorenzen and Mario Andretti in 1965 and 1967. The Holman Moody ended up winning 96 cup races and 83 poles. The next person going into the Hall of Fame is a driver nicknamed the Rooster, Rookie Rudd, who received 87% of the vote. During his career, Rudd was considered an Iron Man because he raced in the Cup Series for many years. He made his Cup debut in 1975 and made his final start in 2007. Rudd made 788 consecutive starts and currently sits second all-time for most career Cup Series starts at 906. Now, in 33 years at the Premier level, Rudd won 23 Cup races and 29 poles, driving for the likes of Bud Moore, Richard Childress and Rick Hendrick. Rudd also won at least one race for 16 consecutive years from 1983 to 1998. The third and final person to get in with 52% of the vote, 28-time Cup Series race winner Carl Edwards. In total, Edwards won a total of 72 races in the Cup, Xfinity and Truck Series. Fans love to watch him celebrate victories with, with his signature black flip celebration. Edwards found lots of success driving for Ruchin and Gibbs. Although he wasn't able to win a Cup title, he came close, finishing second twice in the standings. However, Edwards won the 2007 Xfinity Series Championship, graphic courtesy there of NASCAR. Matt's with me as well to discuss all this action. Matt, what are your overall thoughts on the class of 2025 and did the voters get it right? Good evening, Josh. Hello, everybody. Uh, I think they, they did. Um, the nominees perhaps weren't as strong collectively, you may say, as perhaps last year when, of course, Jimmy Johnson went straight in with Chad Knauss uh, on the first ballot. But I feel like the three of them going in, as you just detailed there, uh were probably the strongest of the group i mean 96 cup wins for ralph moody including two championships as an owner ricky rudd those numbers are just uh, the mind boggles at 906 six starts or whatever it was that uh, you mentioned for rudd 700 plus in consecutive years and all those years of at least winning one race he's a bit of like the scott dixon of the nascar cup series of uh, dixon's well at 20 years now in indycar or at least winning a single race and of course carl edwards who's not so long left uh, the sport as a cup regular, but um, to use a grand tour line, I guess that means he's not coming back then now that he's uh, uh, in the Hall of Fame. But um, yeah, I, I feel like they have got it right. Um, it'll be interesting to see who's on the ballot next year. We'll get that next spring, of course. But as a collective group, I think they've they've pretty much hit the nail on the head with what they had on the table. And the numbers, the, those percentage numbers for Rudd and Moody, pretty high as, as well. So look like a lot of uh, voting sway went their way. The induction ceremony will take place on February the 7th, 2025 at the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, we want to take a moment to acknowledge the winner of the 2025 Landmark Award, and that, of course, is Dr. Dean Sicking, the man who invented the Safer Barrier, which has saved the lives of many a race driver over the years. After Dale Earnhardt was killed in the final lap of the 2001 Daytona 500, NASCAR formed a partnership with Seeking and the Midwest Roadside Safety Facility at the University of Nebraska Lincoln to prevent future on track tragedies. Besides helping design the safer barrier, Seeking studied the, uh, the instant history of each track and worked with NASCAR to create a plan to cover the most dangerous parts of the track. Thanks to Seeking's, uh, the lives of numerous drivers have been saved, including the prevention of many serious injuries as well. 
While the safer barrier is a common sight at, at tracks across America, it finally went international in 2016 for the Le Mans 24-hour race as well. A safer barrier was added to the Porsche curves at the Circuit de la South, bringing the life-saving invention to your marine racing scene as well, the graphic courtesy there of NASCAR. Formula One still has Tech Pro. I've been saying for many years, a safer barrier style at very dangerous corners like Eau Rouge as well. And the top of Radion would be a greater invention as well. So how nice is it for Dr. Seeking to be honoured for his work on the Safer Barrier with the Landmark Award? Oh, I think it's fantastic because the number of injuries that have been prevented uh, since Safer Barrier came in have been multiple in both NASCAR and, of course, IndyCar running on the ovals as well. Um, and perhaps a name that not many people would have known before uh, this week with uh, it's just safer barrier and it, you kind of it is what it is. Some people maybe not liking the limelight so much and uh, disappearing into obscurity a little bit. But good to see that NASCAR have brought this back to the fore and uh, uh, the good doctor is uh, getting the recognition he deserves because uh, many, many racing drivers around, especially the American Oval scene, and around the world, I owe a debt of gratitude to him and his team for producing this safer barrier uh, such a long time ago now, it seems like. But we've had it so long and now it's uh, do, it does its job on a week to week basis. And uh, we got, well, you would imagine it may be in action again at Indianapolis coming up this weekend. Um, let's hope not in that, if you know what I mean, but uh, we'll certainly see it be uh, tested uh, over the next coming weeks and uh, it will go on. Uh, Forevermore, I guess, as uh, his invention and his team, and it's good to see him being acknowledged in such a way.